Hey everybody, welcome to another round of Young 78 Game Reviews. Today I'm going to be talking about some new additions to my collection um, of games and systems, I might add. So as you know, if you've already looked at my prior videos, you already picked up the Wii U. Uh, one thing I will talk about is, first, before I go into any of the games I got, is um, the hard drive. Um, yesterday I picked up a Toshiba hard drive that used the power from the Wii directly. Now I know that the um, there was a instructions online regarding that using a uh, USB 3.0 or 2.0 that takes power directly from the system to give power to the hard drive is gonna is not gonna work properly on the Wii U. Anyway, I overlooked that and yesterday I started to see the results of it, um, meaning the system would froze on me multiple times. So today I went out and picked up a different uh, hard drive, this time one that has its own power adapter. And as you can see, I got a Western Digital 3.0. Um, and the difference with this one is it's one terabyte. It cost me about $20 more and I've got a lot more space so I can't complain too much. It's really nicely set up. So let me just show you what it looks like real quick. Set up right in here. It's that little one on the side. It's really difficult to see because the color is black so it blends in quite well to my uh, entertainment stand there. Um, so anyway, let's talk about some of the new stuff I've got my hands on. Um, you're looking at there is the HD edition of of uh, Yogo Gattuko 1 and 2 HD, which is definitely cool to finally have in my collection. Uh, as you know, I bought the Wii U basic set, uh, the Wii U Pro Controller, Ninja Gaiden 3, which actually, believe it or not, is a hell of a lot better than the uh, one released earlier this year. So if you had any um, thoughts about picking up this game, um, I would say go for it because this game is pretty good. Um, there's, It's the same basic games before but all the mechanics have completely changed so it's almost like playing a brand new game. Anyway, uh, another thing that I added to my collection, if you're any of you are Blade Runner fans, was I bought the Blade Runner collection. Uh, I bought this one by accident simply because I saw it and I'm a huge Blade Runner fanatic and you can see right there it comes with a car and every single one of the old Blade Runner films, all five of them actually including the last remastered one. Um, on to more stuff that I've gotten in my collection recently. I picked up Okami HD, got this in the mail today. Uh, I have to say I'm a little disappointed with this one. Uh, I put it in and it does look nicer. It, it, looks, it looks crisper than the Wii U version, but, or the Wii version, but to be honest with you, the Wii version is a lot more colorful and just, the, it, just it just pops out a little bit more. So I'm, I have, uh, I don't know. I kind of like the Wii version more than I do the PS3 version of this game. I know some of you are going to disagree with me on that, but definitely this is going to stay in my collection. And then, hold on a second, I picked up Marvel vs. Capcom finally, and let's see what else do I got here. One more game in my collection is uh, Tales of Shilia 2. To be honest with you, I picked this one up just because I want to keep my collection intact um, of my Tales of Shilia game, or my Tales of games, and uh, I'm still... I'm about two-thirds finished with Tales of Shelia. At some point, I'll actually finish it, and when I do, I'll get to this game at some point. But uh, anyway, I have it in my collection. It's going to stay. And it, got, it came with a cool little uh, magazine. So I'll go ahead and show that to you real quick. And I do have a game on the way, Ryoga Got to Go 5, but I'm not going to receive it until next month. It's already been paid for, but i just got to wait for it to actually come out. So anyway, these are uh, the things I picked up, and this is a quick update of what I've uh, essentially picked up. I said that twice. I'm kind of tired right now, so that's why you're hearing me repeat myself over and over again. But one thing I will stress um, about the Wii U is it's definitely a good system. Um, it's a bit slow, and it definitely needs a few updates. And when I say slow, I don't mean the games themselves, but what I am talking about is the interface. And I have a feeling that it has something to do with the update that's coming up next month. So hopefully that should be fixed. Uh, Ninja Gaiden Razor Edge is a hell of a lot better than the original. There's still some slowdown here and there, but overall it's a much better game. And having said that, uh, leave your opinions. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, peace out for now.